It's been a while since I posted some videos. Um, I've got some different projects that I've been playing around with and I just stumbled across this one that I saw a couple weeks back which is the Unity Boat Attack and I was just mesmerized uh, with the uh, the way the waves worked and I went ahead and started a smaller project uh, to play around with and I thought I'd kind of go over what I did. Uh, this project is located uh, on GitHub and uh, you have to have Unity, uh, let's see which one, I'm using 2019.3.0b4 and um, you also have to have what they call the uh, Git LFS uh, installed. I use the Git uh, desktop uh, to download this stuff, I have the uh, LFS uh, plugin, so it will get the majority of the files. And basically, the demo is just really slick, uh, but it is complicated, and I wouldn't suggest it for anybody that's uh, rel relatively new to Unity uh, like I am. But uh, it does have some other examples that are a little bit less detailed and that's what I'm working with so uh, before you can really play with this code you're gonna have to obviously have the right version of unity get the original project up and running on your system and then you can play around with the uh, example that I've got I'm not gonna post any code because there's actually very little of it that's why I'm making this video. Um, basically what I did, once you get the project loaded, you will see just tons of stuff. And um, one of the scenes that you can open up is the main scene. Now let me see if I can do this. Let's do this one and basically what it does is it will go into demo mode if it doesn't crash and the boats will run around uh, automatically by themselves so I was just really entranced by the water uh, physics and how this whole island was put together and I'm like okay this might be a base project I can use to experiment with something a little bit different like either a fishing game or a scuba diver uh, game something like that but if you can get this far and you can get the project up and running on your system uh, then basically you can follow on uh, with what I'm doing so uh, they they have a, a a test a testing folder underneath scenes and let's see I'll pull this one up I got this one might be a little messed up I, I've been kind of playing around with them and um, yeah this just has the water right here flowing over uh, it I don't know if it's Unity or what the deal is. Uh, some of these uh, demos, they air out. Uh, for instance, uh, there were some scripts that didn't load. Uh, that's probably part of the problem here. And uh, that was kind of frustrating. But what I did is I created uh, a water world and I brought uh, a, a simplified version of the project over. and got it modified to where I could actually control the boat. The boat uh, has a couple of scripts on it, the boat controller and the buoyant script and there was one more that I had to modify. When uh, this terrain that you see right here, I just literally dragged it uh, from uh, one other area and uh, let's see levels island yeah right here I literally dragged this terrain into my setup and then 
uh, got all of this uh, for free water up against the the beach and things like that so let's go back is this mine yeah uh, and then what I did is it has this had a post processing uh, folder on here the scripts didn't load and unity's real bad about not telling you what script it it was trying to load uh, and it couldn't do it so it, it basically broke that uh, broke that uh, uh, connection but anyway the I created a new folder I copied a version of the water uh, example which just had a boat and a couple of floating things and then I dragged the train in and started modifying so one thing I did do is uh, the game was set up to run off of a joystick and I don't have a joystick and I didn't know I needed to have a joystick so uh, I couldn't control the boat uh, and what I did was uh, went in and uh, there's a class called a human controller and I'm sinking this in underneath here it was underneath the boat uh, scripts boat human controller and then what I did is I just commented out uh, and made the file look the way you see it right here and what you'll see is they had this code activated this code activated and this project is basically, uh, you know, under development. So there's all kinds of buggy uh, things going on. Uh, once I did this, I was able to control uh, the boat uh, using the arrow keys. And uh, that's usually what I do. Now, obviously, when I pulled the terrain in, uh, I moved the boat out a little bit. And I deleted some things. Uh, they had also an error that was happening they had a little uh, mesh that was kind of like an island uh, where this boat was there was uh, this floating object that floating object over there and some other things and that convex there was like a, a polygon count error so I just deleted the whole thing uh, and just had the two uh, items but again I'm just mesmerized how slick this is uh, with just very little uh, coding uh, on my part now what you'll notice is is uh, the obviously the camera is following the boat uh, that wasn't working either and I had a script from the RPG uh, project on uh, the a prior video and I'm just going to show you that script real quick uh, I went up to the camera and uh, attach the script to the camera and then just copied the boat over to the the target transform and then clicked follow me and again I'm not gonna there's no sense in uh, doing anything about the code because it's this simple so basically what you're gonna want to do is create a, a follow target dot cs um, uh, script file and put it someplace I put it in the camera folder uh, so it was easy to get to and this is all it is and you can take a screenshot and you know type this stuff in and you'll be done so with that in place and the human controller modified uh, to where it'll use the keyboard properly uh, then you're able to once you drag that script onto the camera uh, you're able to uh, move this thing around and I just can't get enough of it I'm going full screen so uh, I haven't posted uh, videos in a while I've been doing a lot of machine learning stuff and I've got some projects that I might post later on uh, obviously with the chat bot and things like that but every now and then I have to take a break uh, I'm a full-time software developer and I have to uh, deal with uh, obviously uh, a workload and I'm also finishing up the uh, Coursera uh, deep uh, AI uh, class so for the last two months or so I've been kind of every 
extra second I have other than sleeping was uh, school work and I'm now slowly but surely starting to pick up projects but I saw this boat example uh, from Unity and uh, I know I'm blabbing about it but I think it's really slick and it would be a definite, uh, definite uh, starting point for uh, creating some kind of little island thing uh, right now I'm in the process of trying to import some fish and then have some logic to where some fish uh, are swimming around and uh, you can you know do whatever you're gonna do with that but it's just really uh, it, this is uh, amazing uh, to be able to get this kind of fidelity uh, uh, with very little very little work so okay let's pull this over here move him over there anyway I thought I'd make a quick you know code review video of this if uh, you can get the project again downloaded and get it running on your system uh, then you can basically you should be able to watch this video and very quickly be able to uh, snap something together and play around with it the island world again is very um, uh, intense as far as they were using cinematic machines or cameras and uh, just way way too much stuff that's really over my head right now so I thought I'd post the video and uh, let people know that you can actually get something done uh, relatively simple uh, uh, if you uh, persevere and uh, just uh, stick with it so Hope you enjoyed it and have a good one.